you guys have been waiting to find out what has gone on with the COVID-19 pandemic and how has it affect the Houston market in May, because that's when our real stay-at-home orders have were in full effect. Well, I'm going to give you those numbers right now and let you know where we're going or well, where we've been, but also where we're going. So stay tuned and listen in to the Market Madness for June. In today's market, you can make the uncertain certain. Because it's never about if it's the right time. It's always about when it's the right time. Whether you're selling a home or buying a home, you need the knowledge agent to communicate the information that helps you make the right decision now. Welcome to the Market Madness with the closer, Walter Davis. Hey guys, what's going on? It is June and um, we have the main market update. I'm so excited that you guys are here uh, for Market Madness, but let's dig right into the numbers with what's going on. As many of you remember back in May, we were still at a, finishing up the stay at home orders, but starting to work our way out um, of it. But we were really impacted by COVID-19 uh, pandemic and the stay at home orders in the month of May. So let's see how those numbers reflect based off of what was going on at that time. Um, as we look at our notes here, 6,671 single family homes sold in the month of May. Now that's down 20% year over year. Um, in luxury homes, it also shows wh where you can see it was drastically hit. Um, luxury homes dropped 56.3% year over year. So we got to keep in mind and keep in perspective that many people were staying at home. There, there was some still traffic in the industry and what we were doing here in Houston, but many people were staying at home um, and, and the showings and things like that, at least sales were down in, to reflect that. The average price dropped to $299. So that's 299,000, which is 7.4% um, drop year over year. Um, and then the median price actually, interestingly enough, st statistically stayed about the same at $249,000, which is great. You know, I usually don't talk too much about townhomes, um, but I will tell you townhomes took a big hit in the month of May and they dropped 36% um, year over year. Now, on some different news, leases actually surged and went up um, about 12% year over year as of last month. That would make sense because many people were moving out of those apartments or moving out of different areas of the city, and they were finding um, homes um, that, that fit more in, on the outskirts in regards to rental properties, at least that's what I would speculate. I will say this, that as I'm looking at my notes here, I was just looking at one more quick thing that, you know, what we're starting to see already in regards to is showings are up, um, offers are up. So a lot of that's been being driven by um, historically low interest rates, which are still available for home buyers out there. And for those of you that are considering selling, historically low interest rates, it's going to drive people to buy a home, um, especially those that are now. And I will say on, on a personal note, when I think about COVID-19 and the pandemic, I know for many people out there, at least this response is I've been getting, they've changed their view in regards to maybe they were waiting for another two years well, many of them have called me and said, we're ready to go now. You know, let's, we, within the next year, we need to move because COVID-19, the pandemic as a whole has changed their perspective. Most people, many people are working from home. Many people are wanting, you know, they have to entertain at home because they're not out there. So they're really looking at their home space and seeing, is this conducive to me being at home and relaxing versus always on running around, you know? So they want yard space. They want suburban neighborhoods. They want easy transit back and forth. And some of them are even thinking about this, you know, you know, God forbid the people that right now are struggling to find a job because unemployment is at all time low. But for many, especially in the tech world, you know, Many tech companies have said, well, we're going to limit even when you come back. When we get back to full steam, 
we found that you can work at home and just be as and be just as effective in what we're doing. So how does that impact? Well, now they people need office space. You know, people have been, you know, teaching the kids on the kitchen table and officing out of little sections and cutouts that they've made in their home. And their people are starting to adjust to that and adapt and really look at what's more conducive. So I project that. Homes are going to start to go on the market, um, and I think that you'll still see the growth in in people buying homes. You know, as long as we continue to to open up um, as we are, and and the stay at home orders are lifted. You know, the only thing I will say out there, and this is what I'll say for all of you guys, is make sure you're being safe, you're staying healthy. You know, do what you have to do to protect you and your family. Um, no matter what your stance is on the virus, it, the most important aspect I believe right now is for us to all work together towards making sure none of us or minimal of us get sick on this COVID-19 thing until we figure out the back end of it. As always, stay safe, stay healthy. I really love that you guys checked in today. If you got any questions, don't hesitate to call me or email me. You can check the link right below. And right in the link below, it'll have some other um, contact information for you. You can always check me on any of my social media, Facebook, Instagram, you know all those things. But I love that you guys are here. And if you have any questions, I look forward to answering those for me. Send them to me and I'll talk about it in one of the Market Madness um, um, episodes. Stay safe and I'll see you soon. Have a great one. Bye-bye now.